Good day and we are bricking again and it's Pascal from Pascal's Bricks and I had a question today and I'm going to quickly read it. Um, what software did you use to render the animation? Um, I use Bricklink Studio and um, let me show you quickly how that is done. So I've opened uh, my coffee machine in Bricklink Studio. I'm not going to do the render because rendering a video takes a very long time. Um, my last video took 48 hours for basically 20 seconds. So here it is, um, I've opened as you can see and uh, all you do is you go to render and uh, you've got Photoreal which I use a lot to uh, do just static images. Uh, Povre, I don't really use it. It is not that quality and I don't really feel it. And the last one is animation. Now, um, I'm doing this as a video strictly so that I can show you also my settings. Um, I do run at 24 FPS. Unfortunately, on most phones and tablets, it tends to flicker. I don't notice that much uh, flickering inside of the computer screens, uh, but as I say, on mobiles it does. A uh, total duration, I go on the final, I do a 20 second rotation. Um, then uh, building sequence, I do not do, it just, yeah, and on the 10 second video, it's just, it doesn't work. Um, Revolve, a uh, speed, uh, I make the speed the same as the duration. Sometimes I will go clockwise, sometimes I will go uh, counterclockwise, it depends on the model. This one I would actually go clockwise from this position. Um, render quality, if you go very high, trust me, it's, as I said uh, earlier, for a 20 second very high, uh, of this size, which is 180 by 180, uh, sorry, 1080 by 1080, uh, will take literally 48 hours. Uh, just to give you my ma machine spec, I've got an i7 8th generation, um, uh, the 8700K, which is overclockable, with a NVIDIA um, card, and that would be the GeForce uh, GTX 860, which is about five years old now. Um, I do not use my Mac for that purpose, simply because the uh, that machine does uh, gaming and that, and during the week I've got access to it, so I will let it run for, for the period. On Windows, you will find that you can either do it on CPU or GPU. I find that videos on GPU is better, is faster. Okay. So let's carry, on. let's carry on, I'm gonna leave it to high. Um, background, um, you will see that a lot of my videos actually go far darker than that. Um, somewhere, and I, I can show you. Um, so I do, I think somewhere, let me start at 444, yeah. Um, and that, that would be okay for me if there isn't too much gray, otherwise the gray blends in. Uh, but I do find that a dark ba gray background works best. Um, light building left front is fine. Um, there are others. Um, I sometimes use Dawn because it gives, uh, particularly on buildings, it gives a, a color quality that you don't usually use, uh, uh, sorry, don't usually see. Um, as for my camera setup, I will give you mine. It's minus seven. Uh, y is minus 30. You will see the angle is nice. Um, I use this for both my videos and my static images. The pan for video is always zero. And the Y doesn't matter. The Y is where a high or are low. Uh, you'll see the Y changes as I drop it and ra raise it, just make it center. Uh, zero is not always center in this case. Um, and uh, you'll see it's not quite center at zero. 
Uh, zoom scale depends also. Leave some space on the sides. Um, and if you want to know how much space you need to, 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 to have on the sides, put it at zero and put it at 90 and you will get um, the spacing that, that you require. I usually uh, leave quite a bit of space on the sides so that it doesn't overflow on either sides. Um, so minus 30 again. Okay, this is where I start, by the way. So, um, yeah, um, stud logo, depending on how close you are, um, I often take it off um, simply because you can't see the, the stud, uh, lo the logo on the studs, and it's of no use. Uh, again, UV degradation and scratch, I actually leave off simply because it takes more time and really it doesn't change much. It makes it more realistic. So just for the sake of uh, demonstrating, I am going to say render. It's going to ask me where I want to render it. And there it is, the starting of the render. Um, I'm, let me put this back into view. And um, this is nine minutes per frame. There are going to be, and I can come back to the settings. Oh, yes, I don't have them, but it is 10 seconds at 60 frames a second. So it's 600 frames. You do the mathematics. Um, it's going to take forever. And um, there is the first frame in progress. 2% of the first frame whilst we've been talking. It takes a very, very long time. So I'm just going to cut that off. And uh, John Bucci or Buki, I don't know, Bucky, um, I don't know how to pronounce your surname. I hope that this helps you and you have an absolutely fantastic day further.